Hello, and welcome to Silent Driving Lessons. This is the Learning to Drive series. Lesson 7 Level Crossings A level crossing is an intersection where a railway line crosses a road, path, or airport runway, at the same level, as opposed to the railway line crossing over or under using an overpass or tunnel. Drivers should always approach a level crossing at an appropriate and safe speed to assess the distance the vehicle is following behind, in case you need to stop quickly to allow them a safer stopping distance. The type of crossing you're approaching. The main level crossing types can be open level crossings. Extra caution must be taken at these type of crossings, especially those without lights. The crossing itself is clear from vehicles. Whether there is a yellow box road marking or no markings at all, ensure there are no vehicles blocking your exit from the crossing. If in doubt whether you can safely clear the crossing, stop before you enter the crossing area until it is safe to proceed. If you are unfortunate enough that your vehicle should break down on a level crossing, get yourself and any passengers out of the vehicle as soon as possible. Locate the signal operator telephone number displayed on a sign at the level crossing and contact them. If you are unable to locate a telephone number, call the emergency services. Straight line reverse. Start by finding a quiet, level stretch of road where you will not be too close to junctions or bends. There are certain laws and rules that you must follow when reversing. The basic rules for this is as follows. Ensure the way is clear behind you before you begin this maneuver. Keep a low speed by using clutch control. Do not reverse where there is traffic closely approaching from behind. Never reverse from a minor road or driveway onto a major road. You must not reverse your vehicle for greater distance than is really necessary. It is actually an offense to do so. A straight line reverse is one of the exercises you may be asked to do on a driving test. For some inexplicable reason however it will be on the right hand side of the road. So it is a good idea to practice this maneuver on both sides until you are able to maintain a parallel line and a steady speed. You can use the curb as a reference point. Motorways Motorways are the high speed roads that allow movements of vehicles between major towns and cities. At the moment there are 2,173 miles of motorway in the UK spanning the length and breadth of the country for convenient cross-country travel. Motorways are different to other roads. As well as keeping you safe, understanding the rules can help you avoid committing traffic offences. Unless you are overtaking, stay in the left-hand lane. Hogging the middle lane is an offence and you could end up with an on-the-spot fine of £100 and three points on your licence. Once you've overtaken a vehicle, pull back into the left lane. Remember your stopping distances and give yourself plenty of time to react. Allow a minimum two-second gap between you and the vehicle in front of you. If the road is wet, make it a four-second gap. If the surface is icy, that gap should be even bigger. Don't go over the speed limit. You won't always be able to travel at 70 miles per hour due to road works accidents or bad weather, and watch out for speed reduction signs. Never stop on the hard shoulder unless it's an emergency. According to government figures, more than 100 people are killed or injured on the hard shoulder every year. Independent drive. Independent driving is not a test of how you follow directions. Driving independently means making your own decisions. This includes deciding when it's safe and appropriate to ask for confirmation about where you're going. If you ask for a reminder of the directions, the examiner will confirm them to you. You'll have to drive for about 20 minutes by following either directions from sat-nav or following traffic signs. Mock test. A mock driving test allows you and your instructor to identify any areas of your driving that needs improvement before taking your DVSA practical driving test. As a learner driver gains a good level of proficiency in driving and test standards is in sight, taking a mock driving test is beneficial.
it is of course significantly cheaper if you have failed a mock driving test and not the real one. Failing the real DVSA test involves more test booking fees, often further driving lessons and there is also the driving test waiting times to take into account. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.